Yeah. My name's Heather, and I am in open studies. Uh, what I like to do when I study is put my earbuds in <laughs> and have a coffee and take notes. Um, do you have any uh, big projects or, or plans that you'll be working on for Reading Week? Um, I budget my time. I've been, I have one study or one uh, uh, subject to study per day and I kind of cycle through that and that'll be through the week and that's about it. It'll be like as if I had never left school. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not a vacation, eh? No, not at all. Hi, I'm Barbara and I study information design. What year are you in, Barbara? In my third year. And what are your plans for Reading Week, Barbara? Well, for Reading Week, I'm going to do a lot of homework. I have a lot of big projects I'm working on, so I'm hoping to get ahead on those. What will the average day kind of look for you? Uh, I'll probably study four hours a day, maybe six. Probably closer to more, uh, more hours closer to the end of reading week. When you've got those big study days uh, planned out, what type of habits or do you have a favorite spot or ritual that you kind of fall into? Uh, I find if I don't leave the house, I don't get anything done. So I, I have a coffee shop where I don't have the Wi-Fi password and that's my favorite place. <laughs> Very done. Yeah. Do you try and do like one subject a day or do you break it up throughout the day or? Sometimes I break it up but mainly I'll, I'll focus on one thing during the day. Uh, I'm Kevin, I'm in second year criminal justice. And uh, what are your plans for reading week, Kevin? Ah, plan to study, try and get some papers done. Um, when you're you know, trying to get some papers done or you've got uh, a lot of studying to do, what are kind of, uh, do you have any secrets for success or little habits or tips that you have? With I usually try and get the music on, isolate myself, just keep distractions away and power through it. Um, what's your reading week, what's the average day of your reading week going to look like? <laughs> Probably just essays most of the day, then relax and TV, some surfing the internet. My name is Pam Campbell and I um, am a nursing student at Mount Royal and I'm first year. Um, Pam with Reading Week next week, do you want to talk a bit about how uh, your, some of your study habits or rituals or how you kind of prepare for big projects or essays or exams? Well I probably should start studying a week before my exams but it's usually two or three days maybe or one day in advance. Is there any tricks like drinks or food or anything that you have that kind of help you get through those cramming sessions? I like ice cream. Ice cream gets me through. <laughs> and chips, yeah. Um, now you guys are done in nursing most of your exams uh, for reading week. Do you have any specific plans that you'll be taking advantage of the time with? Um, writing a 15-page paper over the break. Um, maybe take a few days off and hang out with friends. Okay, hi, I'm Allison Belsner. I'm a first year nursing student. And. Allison. Is that all? <laughs> did you want to talk a bit about some of your study habits or secrets to success? Um, I like to get things over with in advance. So, like papers and projects, I like to just get out of the way so I can try and study a little bit throughout the semester so I don't have to cram so much before. But that's usually my strategy. How about any rituals or favorite foods or drinks or anything that help you get through? Hot yoga. <laughs> Does that help you focus? Yeah, I like to do hot yoga. It relaxes me in between crazy studying. Right on. And for reading week, do you have any specific plans or projects that you'll be working on? Um, I have a pretty big paper, but other than that, I'm usually done my midterms mostly before, so um, lots of relaxing and getting ready for after reading week. So, yeah. That's